Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change up the FOV in No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky came out with a really, really huge update uh, to their new version of their game. Uh, the first huge update was Worlds 1.0, which you know added a whole lot more stuff and also enhanced the graphics quite a bit. In fact, uh, my gaming laptop no longer can play the game because of that update, but my desktop will simply have to do. But in Worlds 2.0, it added even more stuff. But even with the, uh, the version Worlds 1 or 2, uh, Hello Games still hadn't fixed the issue with the FOV. So I'm going to show you on how to fix it to suit you so you don't end up feeling like you're going to succumb to motion sickness or feel like, you know, claustrophobic, I guess. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go into the folder where you have No Man's Sky at, uh, install that. And you click on that. Click in Binaries. Click in Settings. And then you're going to look for TK Graphic Settings MXML this right here. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to right click, select properties, and then you want to open with, you want to click the change button and make sure you got your text editing program of choice like Notepad or in my case Notepad++ and you change it to that, click apply and then OK. So that way we can open it up without Windows getting confused and asking OK uh, what app do we use to open it up with. And then you want to hit Control and F for the Find window and bring it up. And you want to type in FOV on foot. And once you do that, click Find Next. And then you can exit out the Find window. And you have FOV on foot uh, highlighted. Now, even at the top setting, it'll be like 120. So you want to set it to something higher, like 140. But I think I'm going to go 150. And also FOV and shift, you can change that as well. Again, Hello Games does not understand FOV values, but good news for you, you have a way to change that up. Now, once you've done your changes to how you want to try it out, then you go ahead and I click File and click Save to save it up. And that's all you have to do there. And now we can take a look and see the changes. And it'll take just a moment. Got this game installed on the M.2 drive, so it shouldn't take too long on the load. show you that you're not stuck with uh, Hello Games version of FOV, but set your own and be able to enjoy the game. All right, that should do it. So take care and God bless you.